What is up, everybody? It's day 337. And today we're going to talk about the housing bubble of 2006 compared to today. And I was doing some research on it today. It's taken me a little bit to get the, the research done. But the 2006, 2007, I finally found some articles from like 2006 because that's really when the they started talking about the bubble. 2007 is when it actually started collapsing. And by the end of 2007, it was just like, pfft, it was at the, not even quite the bottom. It was almost at the bottom. And then 2008, it started coming back slowly, but surely. And in 2007, the housing market, it was crashing by like double digit percentage points per month. So it was just crazy what happened. And the fuel for the housing crash was subprime loans and predator, we'll call it like toxic loan practices, predatory loan practices, where the banks were giving out giving out loans with no money down. Uh, giving out loans and you didn't have to show how much money you made. You didn't, you didn't even know where to print your W-2. It didn't even matter. They were like, oh, you make this much? Go ahead. And so in 2006, they started talking about the bubble. I read a couple articles on that. And they weren't, they were talking about a bubble bursting, but they weren't talking about, is it going to burst right away? Is it something going to happen? Kind of like what some of the articles are going out with now in today's times, talking about how the fact that, you know, I think it's still fresh in people's mind, the 2008 crash, 2006, 2007 crash. And so people are talking about we're in a housing bubble. It's got to crash at some point. And it doesn't matter about when the, if the prices are going up, just because they're going up doesn't mean it's going to crash. And I started researching a little bit about Canada too, because in 2006, 2007, Canada's was going up, but it was going up a lot slower and they didn't have the steep crash that America had. And that was because of the subprime, subprime loans that the um, that America was putting out. Canada didn't do that. So they, down, they had more of an economic downturn in 2008 going into 2009, but it didn't crash down like it did here in the United States. So with that said, anything could happen in today's time because of the fact that they were talking about in 2006 of being a bubble and just because your home prices go up doesn't mean they're going to go crashing down. They can go down, but it can be um, like economic reasons why. Like in um, Louisiana, like a lot of times the market will crash, crash over there because of the fact that the oil industry is doing bad or even Alaska or you know a hurricane comes through like different different reasons why things will change in certain markets and the rest of the country won't be affected by it now that being said like of course if a war happens um we did put a strike out on syria um you know if the interest rates go skyrocketing up or um some other kind of pandemic happens or a uh, some kind of terrorism happens or something like that. Those are going to be like the main things um, on a reason why the economy would make a steep downturn. But it doesn't mean that it's going to go crashing down like 2008. Now, every everything that goes up must come down. Even a plane, anything, you throw a ball up, it's going to come back down. Most likely the prices will come down, but we don't see anything at this point pointing to that going down price. I did... Like most of the articles are all saying in the next one to two years, the price is either going to stabilize or they're going to keep going up a little bit. But they probably won't go up as much as they they have been. And, you know, nobody has a crystal ball to be able to tell us, yes, it's going to keep going up or yes, it's going to go down. Um, so we, we just don't know that. Will it stabilize? I think it's more going to go sta like stabilize and kind of just go up and down, up and down per month. Um, March, you know, saw some record highs. April, it went down. Um, May went up and then June, June, or no, yeah, it went like that. So June, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, it could go back down. It could go back up, but I don't think it's going to go that we're talking about the average price, but I don't think it's going to just go tanking down into the oblivion the rest of the year. So with that said, I mean, make your choices wisely, you know, um, you know, real estate is real estate and the amount of inflation that's happening right now, it's probably the prices are probably going to stay high for a long time unless lumber comes down and new home sales. Basically, if, if new home sales could skyrocket and or not even sales, but, but just new homes be put on the market a lot faster than they are now at a better price 
for the framing of it. It'll probably help out the, the actual real estate prices to level out more. But if the wood keeps going this way and the amount of homes being built, kind of like, if, it, if it's like this, it's not going to help us out. It needs to be like this to help us out, help out anybody in trying to buy or, I mean, buy or sell, you know. Um, and even interest rates, they're talking about raising them in 2023. That's a couple years away. And, you know, so therefore, you just don't know what's going to happen. Unless something super dramatic happens, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy out there. But like I said, in 2006, they were talking about a bust and they knew, they knew back in 2006 that the subprime market was going to collapse. They knew that the, the lending practices back then were sketchy and they were going to mess things up. And they, they said it and now we don't have the lending practices um, if, if the lending practices didn't happen that way, it probably wouldn't have been such a bad crash, but people that had, people had no business having a mortgage that had mortgages and had mortgages as big as they did. And that's what really ruined everything. So that's all I got for today. Go out there and make somebody smile and have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. Bye.